Aries, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for August 12th all the way to the 18th. Hey, Aries, how's it going? How is it going? Well, we've got some things ramping up this week. Uh, I hope you're going to be uh, a little bit more aware of it after watching this video. But we have uh, some energies that are going to be kind of ramping up towards the weekend and we'll do the freaking weekend of course i post it on wednesdays but um we have a full moon on the 19th that's monday and i know that this video is to the 18th but i'm not gonna wait another week to post a video you know what i mean like yeah you'll get the video i think i'm so confused about how ahead i am you know, you you do these readings like a week, a week and a half ahead. It's hard <laughs> to keep track of the goddamn days because it's like the eighth. So, all right. So what we're going to talk about is August 19th, Monday, there's a full moon in Aquarius. And this is going to be taking place in your third house. So it's bringing to light issues of communications. You might be going on an impromptu vacation. You might have to travel Right away, you know, it's uh, Aquarius energy is kind of sudden, and kind of impromptu, but I could see that happening. It could also you being uh, <clears throat> for some of you Aries starting a lot of things, uh, especially with writing, publishing, anything like that um, has a lot to do with your siblings also. So that could be an influence on the 14th Venus that's retrograde is going to be moving back into Leo. So it's in Virgo and bouncing back into Leo. So it gives us an opportunity to use that fire energy to maybe go back to the drawing board. I, I see a lot of Aries like planning, you know, like having like sparks of inspiration and, and things like that. You know, that Aries thrust of energy. Um, yeah, so that's going to be going on for the week. So you're going to feel that energy ramp up towards the weekend. So we're going to do a full moon weekend. Might as well. It's on a Monday. What's one day? You know what I mean? It starts to go full, like probably Friday, Thursday or Friday. All right, Aries. So don't forget, I got personal readings and I got three options now. One-on-one -on -one if you're in the area or over Zoom, which works great. And now I have a pre-recorded ask a question reading. So you'll go ahead, ask your question, your advice. We know what do I need? What do I do about this situation? Or tell me what's going on with this. Or dude, I just need some guidance. You know what I mean? Fill out the question. I'll within a day or two, depending on how many I'm working on, you'll get an email with a private link to a YouTube video that's already up there for you. All you have to do is play it. Pretty cool. And don't forget that the freaking weekend's posted on Wednesdays. And we're going to talk about the full moon going on next week. But, I mean, this, yeah, next week. But, yeah, anything else? No. I said that was it. So this is going to be short and sweet, it looks like. Hmm. All right, well, Damn. How does this fucking go? <laughs> yeah, this th those are both victory cards, so we'll do that like that. Okay. Here we go, Aries. What we need to focus on this week. What we need to focus on is... Hmm. Maybe something... There's an offer coming in. There could be an apology coming in. Ah, I think it's more like a uh, feet-on-the-ground approach. You know... Be grounded, stay grounded. Don't let don't let things go so overboard. What we need to work on is here with the Tower and the King of Cups. So whatever has got you shook, you need to get in line with that. You need to kind of like trust your intuition. Um, yeah, that that full moon could be that tower energy. You know what I mean? You could already start to feel that, the effects of it. And what this what this is telling you is use that you know the king of cups keeps their emotions in line they don't waste their energy you know they're they're in tune with their heart with their mind with their emotions so 
get that straight with a feet on the ground approach. You know, you got this. That's basically what this page of pentacles is saying. You got this six of wands and the chariot. That's recognition. That's success. This is a lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot. I mean, it's, it's win, 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 but feet on the ground approach because something gets you emotionally shook. Let's, uh, you know what? I want some clarifiers for that. Let's clarify this. It's it's successful. It's just, you know, being re, being uh, realistic with yourself in this situation. Don't let this shake you, you know, because you'll come out successful for it. Do we need any clarifiers? What do we got? Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, stand your ground. Speak your truth with the King of Swords. We got the King of Cups and the King of Swords. Shine as brightly as the sun. There's a lot of Leo influence in here too. And it's a new beginning, cycle completing. More fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius influence too. Because we got the King of Swords and the World card here with the fixed signs. So, all right. So what we got going on here yeah, is... Uh, just standing your ground in the face of adversity, keeping your cool, keeping it just shining as brightly as, I mean, this is like positive, 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 positive. That's good. So that clarifies that. Stand your ground. Boundaries. You don't waste your energy. There's a big, there's a big sign about not wasting your energy. And travel. There's a lot of travel here. The chariot, the world. The fool with that impromptu travel. <laughs> yeah. We're coming out of discontent and boredom. We're speaking our truth. This is empowering energy you're, you're grasping right now with that throat chakra and rejoice and celebration. There's a lot going on here, man. There's pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, throat. I'm. Um, Talking about shock, uh, throat chakra, and I cough. Interesting. Let's get some psychic tarot for the heart, from the heart, and see how this segues into the love portion. What else do we have for Aries for this week, please? Thank you. Anything else? Release, yeah. We're already getting ready for that new moon because that, I mean, that full moon. That full moon's about releasing. Absolutely. Put in the effort. It pays off. And open up. Open up your heart. Open up to the possibilities here. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I like it. You're releasing. It's almost like you're releasing like this, this melancholy energy that you've been sitting in, you know, just being realistic with yourself, just being you. I think that's, I think that's what it is. Just, you know, hey, why sit in it, you know, mm, discontent and boredom, four plus four, dedicated effort, eight. They wanted me to look at that for some reason. So don't be tempted, especially in love, to sit in this. Yeah, it's like wallowing in your sorrow almost. You know what I mean? Anything else? And uh, hmm. lots of Leo energy here with strength. You're strong enough to deal with these relationships. Release all this. It's, it's, it's lower vibe. It's feelings. It's feelings. Feelings got you shook. You know what I mean? That's what it feels like. So in order to balance this out, because things will balance out, there will be justice. The Queen of Cups is out and the Queen of Pentacles. So we've got, you know, again, the emotional intuition, feeling, don't let the feelings get in the way of things. And Queen of Pentacles is being practical. Again, Page of Pentacles. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles. There's now an offer, an apology. Something is coming towards you. 
and maybe the, it's the expectation. You know, you don't, do you really need one for some of you? Do you really need it? All right, let's get some messages of love. But this looks like, a, actually, that looks like an offer coming in that you take a much more stable. I, I think for some of you Aries in relationships, you're leaving and opening yourself up to a, a newer ideal of I'm going to speak it into existence and uh, I'm going to allow myself to be open to these offers and it will be very successful to you. It's like you're releasing old relationship shit, you know, and really speaking your truth with that chakra card. Healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Yeah, it's time to release that. That's what that underpinning is. Okay. Lesson, this person in your life is to teach you a spiritual lesson. Yeah, it's to heal and release and to move on because there's something better for you for a lot of Aries here. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Open up. Let things balance. A balance of practicality, realism, and emotion. Speaking your truth. Confidence. New love, a new love, a recommitment to love is developing. So yeah, the apology, the, the thing that has got you stalled here, do your healing and you'll see this come in. Put in the work. You'll be rejoicing in celebration. Marriage, this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Now for some of you, that could be true because the six of wands is engagement. The wreath shows an engagement. So some of you areas may be getting engaged and it'll be very successful. Open up to it. But there's... It's showing you what to do for that, for that full moon. You know, take a different approach to it. Speak your truth. Open up. All right. Closing messages for Aries. What do we got? Protect. You're being asked, Aries, to protect yourself and your energy. It's okay to want to give to others what you do effortlessly. It's important, though, that you set healthy boundaries with your energy before doing so. That's that seven of wands. Uh, now is the time to get some protection in place. Keep the idiots out of your life. You know, you don't need these people, you know, and it's time to release that. Speak your truth. I mean, look at the way these cards go around this throat chakra symbol. That's incredible. Speak your truth. I am strong enough. I can do this. I open up to love. I release the past. Boom. Time to release, baby. Release. Childhood issues. Work on that sacral chakra. All right, Aries, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to watch The Freaking Weekend on Wednesdays. Personal readings in the description. And I will see you all next week.